Greetings, my fellow Fit Collectors. This is the Thor 2941 coming to you from NYC. Uh, I accepted a challenge from Sandman PR Vlog. He wanted me to list uh, 10 of my top um, grails in my collection. Unfortunately, the real grails that I have, I really can't get to anytime soon because they're really put away. Uh, but I was able to dig into a couple, so I hope um, you guys appreciate it. Same and I tried my best. These are the more recent ones, um, and some old. So I did a little bit of both. Uh, so let's start it off, okay? Here we go. We're gonna start off with Marvel Legends Gladiator Hulk. This is the Builder figure. Now I know everybody's on the kick with the uh, Diamond Select one. I am as well. I think it's much better um, in terms of high articulation and paint app than this one, but the reason this is one of my favorite ones, because for a builder figure, folks, you can't... Listen, this is not bad. If they never came out with a select one, this ain't bad. I mean, it's not SH Figure Arts quality, but it's good enough. And the other reason why it's one of my favorites, it's the first builder figure that I completed. And I had a lot to complete, but it's the first one I got to complete that my family got me. My wife bought me this. Uh, yeah, she, uh, as much as she complains about me collecting, she, uh, yeah, she gave me the battery ramp to knock down the door to really get into these builder figures. And yeah, sorry about the lighting, but yeah, as you can see, the, they start bending, but it's been on the shelf for a while, it's a little dusty, but it's still one of my favorite builder figures. You know, not the favorite, but sentimental reasons. Now this one, I've always liked the Predator, and NECA's versions of them. But when this throne came out, I was jonesing for it. And my wife and kids got it for me uh, this past Christmas, and I really appreciate it. As well as my brother-in-law, Johnny, and um, my godson and his wife, they went ahead and blessed me with this uh, um, uh, Predator, Elder Predator with the cape, which is my favorite one. I was dying to get this guy, and uh, they helped me uh, get it somehow. You know, I was able to get gift cards and buy this guy. But these are all family gifts, so... They're definitely in my top 10. Okay. And of course, if you got to get something done, you got to do it yourself. Look at that, baby. I was jonesing for this thing when it first came out. I was praying to get it. My wife kept telling me, don't get it, don't get it. Hey, I'm the one that rules with Iron Head. <laughs> And she does, that's for sure. Yes, you are. Hey, I love this thing. This thing is freaking awesome. Look at, this. Look at that gizmo. I'm gonna throw a gizmo here. Gizmo. Sit. <laughs> yeah, man. This is my favorite, man. One of my favorite ones out of my whole collection. I, it's simple, but I dig it, man. Sorry for the shoddy camera work, but it is what it is. Love this thing, man. As you all know, you hold this and for a couple of seconds, then it'll power down. Or you can leave it alone and it'll shut off on its own. This I got a couple of Christmases ago, last Christmas or whatnot. Now, this one my wife got me as well. Oh, by the way, my wife bought me this one. She went crazy looking for this one she got for me when she couldn't find it anywhere. This she bought me. Whosoever hold this hammer, if he shall be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Bitches. This thing, look, you could kill somebody with this thing. This thing is awesome. Comic version of Thor Munir. I love this. I, it comes with a rock that's embedded in. I have that put away. But this is on my computer shelf. I absolutely love this thing. This thing is solid. Gonna get the other solid one of the uh, MCU Universe one. I also have the uh, replica one, which makes noises. But you smash that with, against this one, no more MCU version. Okay, moving right along. I really like this, this Mjolnir. I was hunting for this. Josh Pence knows that a couple of people, I was I couldn't find this guy to save my life for a while. And I was able to get the uh, Star Wars Black Series Anakin Skywalker number 12. So happy when I got this guy, man. I mean, I won him in a bid on eBay. It was like in the middle of the night and I wound up getting him from next to nothing. Which was... Not cheap, but compared to what they go for, I got a great deal at the time. This is another one. The man, the myth, 
Mr. Boba Fett. Yeah, baby. Not a, not a dupe. When I first started collecting online and doing trades, I got burned by this guy. I actually got a bootleg version of um, of him, and I had to send it back. And I wound up getting the right one eventually from an honest collector, I think, in Brooklyn. I forget the gentleman's name. Um, yeah. Uh, you could tell with these versions, there's a little round circle star, like or in the corner of the T, sometimes in the other S over here. But this is the legit. I, I, I'm so happy with this Boba Fett. The next girl is going to be the Boba Fett with the uh, Han Solo and Carbonite, which I have something in the works. It's going to happen, trust me. And I'm not going to overpay for it. But I'm really happy to get those two. But um, yeah, and I was able to get this before everything got hot. I got the Black Series one, but this is the 40th anniversary Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. Look at that sucker. Check that out, Sandman. Clean, clean. Now, I have him in protective casing, put away nicely. I just took him out to uh, honor him, to honor you with his uh, presence, since he threw the gauntlet down. <laughs> Sandman's a good guy, man. I want to meet you one day, get together, do a hunt, baby. And this one, I got at NYC Comic Con this year. I'm in the, currently in the process of building another one. But uh, I got a way to go. But I am so happy I got this guy with my son. It's a father and son tradition. We do it every year. And he was the only one I found on Friday. It was him and another one, but he was missing like the technicals. He was a little more dirtier. This one was clean, everything. The guy was a nice man. Um, I forget the gentleman, the vendor's name, but I, he gave me a very good deal. He wanted like almost 300 for this. And I got him way down, way down. But... Trust me, I, I'm so happy with this figure. And as you, some of you saw, I have the Amazon exclusive version of it as well. Which I'm happy with, but this one rules. Yeah, and moving right along, going a little old school. A lot of you guys know I'm into the 3-3 cores, which I cannot take out right now. I pretty much have the entire collection of the Kenner line Star Wars. The only ones I'm missing are a couple of the, uh, the uh, Ewok Village and... Uh, droid collection would look like crap to me but i'll eventually get them i have most of them just not enough to finish them like 15 17 more to go regarding that collection but the entire kenna line i got them all i'm talking uh all of them yak face you name it blues snaggle tooth got them all got them coach got them this guy i bought a long time ago got him for a good price I don't have them off the box, and my apologies, but trust me, everything is there, it's clean. And I got the Star Empire Strikes Back one version. Pretty much the same thing, but you have no idea how much this means to me. This is all I had to play with as a kid, besides the next item that's coming up. And when I had it, the cannon was missing, the radar barely stood on, the the landing pads were <laughs> I had to use rubber bands to keep them up. I was missing certain items inside. Uh, I was just happy. I mean, we weren't exactly the richest people growing up, but we were honest and we did what we had to do. I bought this for like 20 something dollars at a flea market when I was a kid and I was just happy to have it. And uh, yeah, over the years I replaced it and it just got stolen somehow. I don't know how, misplaced, lost while I was away in the army. But over the years, I was able to come back and buy this. This brings back so many memories. You have no idea. But this next item... Oh, and by the way, my next grail, Millennium Falcon Legacy Edition. I spoke to Josh Pence about it and several other people. That's coming. I've been wanting that for years. I, that, I can't wait. You have no idea how badly I want that. Now, the next one really has an emotional um, attachment to me. My mother bought this for me when I was a kid. It was one of the best Christmases I've ever had. To this day, I remember it being the best Christmas. My mother worked two jobs very hard to the day she died. And I remember how she put this on the way away and saved. It was the only Star Wars place that pretty much I had that was brand new. And uh, all I was able to afford were the figures growing up. And uh, yeah, I was able to get this was one of the items as well that was walked away or was stolen while I was away. It's a long story. But uh, yeah. This thing, when I put it together, when I first got it, I mean, 
just talking about it, it gets real emotional. This this thing really brings back memories. It, it reminds me of my mother. Yeah. This is the Thor 2941. I'm telling you, these are my Grail Sandman, everybody. And I'm so happy and proud to have collected that. Take care, everybody, and cherish your collection and your memories. Take care. Peace.